I'm in a 300 year old wine cellar in the heart of Georgia, drinking wine out of a clay bowl in the traditional way. That wine was made in some big pots that are dug under the big ceramic pots that are dug under the ground here. Uh, this is just the start of our adventure through Georgia. It is the perfect start to our adventure through Georgia. Join me on the second of the uh, three part series of our Georgia Armenia Azerbaijan tour and uh, we'll show you the absolute highlights. I think Georgia's going to be pretty good. Stick around and we'll show you. Cheers. The wine cellar was located under a house in a small village perched on a hill overlooking a valley with the Caucasus Mountains in the background. This is a Kacheti region of Georgia. It's the country's food bowl and also home to the world's oldest wine region. They invented wine here 8,000 years ago and are still making it using the same traditional methods. Back in the cellar, after the wine, we got to try chacha, the local fire water. It's good. What then followed was the most sensational lunch of home cooked food. The whole family was involved. Grandpa was on the grill and Nonna's domain was the traditional bread oven. Upstairs, the daughters were in the kitchen and we even got to help make kachapuri, the tastiest cheese bread you'll ever eat. Lunch was served on the terrace, where we were introduced to the Georgian concept of the Toastmaster. Omar! Josh! Very good! This was just the start of a couple of wonderful days exploring Cajeti. Here's a small taste of what we saw and did. This would be the oldest bottle of wine I've ever seen. I'm not going to touch it. Uh, apparently it is still drinkable. So we're, uh, we're onto the rosé now. This one is made out of nine different grapes. That's nice. It's very nice. From Cajeti we headed to the capital Tbilisi, which very quickly became one of my favourite cities anywhere in the world. It's a really cool city with a great vibe. Our sightseeing included not just the main attractions of the pretty bits, but also the grittier side of the city and the hidden nooks and crannies. With a ding like that, you've, we've just got to take them. Um, 40 lara for uh, the six of them, which is about $20. Yeah, beautiful, I reckon. Well worth a shot. I can honestly say that I've not had a bad meal in Georgia. Uh, and this is not my first day here, we're uh, on day four, and every single meal has been delicious. The food here is incredible. Look at that. Good? Yeah, it is. See my t-shirt? <laughs> Love it. She loves the food. So do I.
this is one city I'm definitely looking forward to visiting again. One of the big advantages of travelling in a small group is uh, everything is so much quicker, including getting on and off the coach. Um, coach has just pulled up here in uh, Tbilisi. We'll see how long it takes. Now, I haven't pre-warned them that I'm filming this, so they're not hurrying. <laughs> So this is actual time. Uh, if I can just give a massive shout out to Georgia as a country to visit. Um, this is about day four for us here in Georgia. It has been absolutely fantastic. And there's the last couple just getting onto the coach. And we're off. From Tbilisi, our journey took us north towards Kazbegi and the High Caucasus Mountains. On the way, we stopped to explore the former Georgian capital, Metzcheta. to Kazbegi. This is the main highway linking Georgia and Russia and what we find here on one of the high points is a wonderful bit of Soviet architecture. This is the friendship monument between uh, Russia and Georgia built during Soviet times so uh, full of uh, propaganda type images um, celebrating obviously all the good things about the Soviet Union. Russia on this side and all the way through to Georgia on that side. The view from here is absolutely stunning. Even better views were to come though when we reached our hotel at the foot of Kaspeki Mountain. The next morning, the skies were clear and we headed to the little church perched up on the hill. The Caucasus Mountains are the highest mountain range in Europe with, and Georgia itself has got three peaks of over 5,000 metres. This is one of them, this is Kazbegi. It comes in at number three, just over uh, 5,000 metres. We're at a church uh, at about 2,000 metres. This place is absolutely stunning sense of openness and freshness and freedom up here is just phenomenal. Honestly, you've got to come here and experience it. It is magic, absolutely magic. Then, back down in the village, it was time to learn how to make the local delicacy, dumplings. Hard work, isn't it? It is hard work. Yeah. No wonder we use Uber Eats. <laughs> <laughs> Later in the afternoon, Sophia took those of us who were keen on a hike to the nearby waterfalls. The next day, we reluctantly left the mountains. Kaspegi had certainly left an impression on all of us. I'm going back someday, and I want me to Kaspegi. Our next stop was the beautiful city of Kuta Isi. Here, we helped a local. Explored the cathedral, enjoyed an impromptu concert. And savoured the delights of the city markets. Churchella. 
Our final two nights in Georgia were spent in the countryside in Vatsia. Here we explored the most incredible cave monastery. Literally dug into the side of the mountain in the 12th century, this well-fortified monastery played an important role in Georgian history. Bring your walking shoes though. The steps are steep and at times narrow, but the views are definitely worth the effort. We then visited a local convent and met the coolest nuns I've ever met. We learned about the work they do and how they live out here in the country. Inside, over a good chat, they showed us how they make the various handicrafts and we had the opportunity to give it a go ourselves and enjoy some afternoon tea. That evening, our final dinner in Georgia gave us one last chance to indulge in the beautiful voice and spirit of our wonderful guide, Sophia. It had been an amazing 10 days. And thank you for giving me the right, uh, reason to smile every day and to be happy every day. And I wish you good luck Good life, happy journeys, full of adventures, and... Beautiful. Touch. Come on! So it's our final night in Georgia and we're ending how we started with homemade wine and fine home cooked food. It has been an absolute delight. I hope you've enjoyed these few highlights and it's whet your appetite for, uh, for Georgia. Um, I've absolutely loved it, but don't take my word for it. What did you guys think? Awesome. It has been fantastic. Put Georgia on your list. Uh, obviously do that with Bunnick Tours, but uh, I'm biased. Uh, Bunningtours.com.au, see your local travel agent and uh, see you in Georgia. Cheers. 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 Cheers.